I wasn't always this Adonis standing before you. Uh, this story actually takes place when I first started getting pleasantly pumped. Pump. Uh, it wasn't like a, it wasn't over a gradual period of time. It like literally like happened overnight. I woke up and I, my feet had burst out my footies and every shirt that I owned became a belly shirt at that point in time. <laughs> And it was during the summer that I'm walking down the street in my belly shirt. <laughs> and I find this bunny. This, this hurt tiny bunny. And I decide I'm going to keep this rabbit. So I scoop it up. I put it in a box. I take it to my mother. Now at this point in time, we, have, we had a cat, we had a dog, and she had four rambunctious animal children, too, so she kind of really want a rabbit. But, you know, I, I put on the puppy dog eyes. I said, Mom, you keep this rabbit until it's better, at least. She was like, you can keep it. But as soon as it's able, as soon as it's able to hop itself, that thing's out in the wild. I'm like, okay. So I keep it, you know, for a period of two weeks. And me and that rabbit, you know, I've never had a bond like that even with a human. Yes. No, I'm just joking. No, I'm not that bad. Uh, so I decide, I decide not to name the rabbit because I knew I wasn't going to have it for a long period of time. And but I really think the real reason was I didn't want to give it like a cliche like name that you get a rabbit, you know, like some type of cocktail here. So I just never named it. And Flash through a, you know, a Rocky montage, you know, you can set it to your favorite 80s tune if you like. This rabbit is ready to hop. This rabbit is ready to go. I wanted to put it, up, you know, I wanted to put it off, but my, my mom was like, get it out of here. So I put it in my backyard. I lay it down. I say, it's time to go. It's time to go. He looks at me, you know, he, he turns around and says, <laughs> and I'm like, ah, just go, damn it! Scram! And he runs off, but he's still looking at me. So I decide that I'm going to chase after him and I'm going to run free with that rabbit. And I'm running, and you know, my, my belly shirt's coming up, <laughs> my lips are out. And I trip on a, a root in my backyard, and I start stumbling. And you know, it's like I'm all upper body. So I'm bent over, and my legs are pumping. And that rabbit's still looking at me, but instead of like giving me this like look of, of longing, he's giving me this, this, this oh shit eyes. <laughs> and I trip, and I fall. And I land on the rabbit. <laughs> yeah. I crushed it. And I was crushed too. I was like, shit. So I was like bawling, you know, for I don't know how long. I was like, maybe, you know, I'm a little too big. You know, I was like, crush that rabbit. But that's not what like, told me I was too big. What told me I was too big was I ate it afterwards. I was joking about that. <laughs> But I dedicate this story to that unnamed rabbit. Wherever you are, maybe. And I'm not pointing that. I don't think there's like a rabbit hell. But I like to imagine that that rabbit's like in a, you know, a underground burrow full of other rabbits. <laughs>